He does a great job up there, and I'm shocked. Nobody has mentioned that this gentleman just turned 50 years old the other day. Can we have a big round of applause? Oh, come on. You made it, buddy. Good job, good job. I've seen cigarette butts in better shape, but uh, you, 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 you're doing good. As I almost fall down. Yeah, that's karma. So, uh, no, but, uh, but happy birthday to you. And, uh, you know, 50 years old, that's, uh, you know, when you reach that, that plateau, you know, you really have to start watching your health. You know, like my dad uh, just went in for a procedure, and uh, boy, he was really freaking out. I'm telling you, he thought he was going to die. And, uh, you know, so he started talking about things like, you know, what to do with him after he dies, what to do with his money. And, uh, you know, he wanted to have kind of like the father-son moment and everything. And that kind of stuff just makes me real uncomfortable. You know, you know especially uh, because he was going in to have a cavity filled. You know, <laughs> I thought it was a little bit over the top, you know. So I might have overreacted. I called him a baby. Let's get back there. Take 20 minutes. I want to finish my People magazine out here in the waiting room. Just go with it. But, uh, you know, in retrospect, I felt a little bad. I might have been a little hard on the old man. Uh, it, it, it probably hit me most a few days later at his calling hours. <laughs> it was a cavity. Am I the bad guy here? I mean, really, who, who knew? You know, I. I I feel bad about that. I, I, please dry your eyes. My dad is fine. He's alive and well. Uh, I, I, I debated with myself as to whether or not I should take the story that far. And it turned out I was right, because when you debate yourself, how can you lose? <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, now, I, I had some fun this weekend, though. Um, I went bowling. Uh, you know, I, I really like bowling. One of the, I enjoy bowling uh, more than almost anything, and uh, you know, almost anything. <laughs> but uh, no, some friends and I went up to uh, North Hill to go bowling, and uh, let me tell you, if you haven't had an opportunity to get up to that demilitarized zone, uh, you really should jump at it. It's a fine, fine area. Uh, no, but uh, they have a nice establishment over there in, in, in North Hill, off Cuyahoga Falls Avenue, to go bowling, and uh, I, I like to go there because uh, there's nothing I prefer more when I'm bowling than being surrounded by ex-convicts, you know? <laughs> it's just, it really spices up the experience, you know? You never know if the gang of people next to you is going to rape you while you're, while you're crawling, you know? But I, I have a prevention technique, though, you know? I, I bring extra cigarettes to the bowling alley, so, you know, you never know. Those will come in handy when, uh, you know, when you really need them. But, uh, no, it was, it was Lunar Bowling Night, though, and, uh, you know, that's always a lot of fun because you know, they got the crazy music and the lights and everything else, you know, um, and, and people have a lot of fun. I tend to be a little more, more competitive with bowling, but, you know, people are, you know, having a good time. They're drinking, they're rolling the ball between their legs and everything and dancing, you know, and they're having fun. But the people who I think annoy me most are the people who confuse the game of bowling with the game of horseshoes. <laughs> I, I, I can't understand what possesses somebody to take a bowling ball launch it 17 feet in the sky until it crash lands on the alley like a meteor and then bounces three more times nearly hitting the other lane you know and it doesn't it doesn't hit any pins and the, and the person who does this inevitably will look back like they're shocked you know they'll go oh my god i didn't hit anything you know, oh, god, that's what happened. You know? Good God, I, you know, do these people also roll horseshoes? I mean, in, in that game, hey Randy, we need a ringer to win. Coming right up. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't even come close. You know, like, oh, go figure, you know. So, folks, I'm going to get the heck out of here. I'm Craig Mad Dog Mandarin. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, man. He's our pen's ultimate.